everybody. Welcome back to the watching show. We're back in Hammerlock now, and we're uh, we're gonna do stuff. You bet your ass. Yeah, this diglet. Count, this counts as stuff, right? Gah! Yeah, we're riding so fast, so speedy. I still don't know why your bike has electricity. It's science. Okay. <laughs> it's fucking science. I can't sing it. Just ask Albert Einstein. I think I'm not. She said Hammerlock, the person we talked to last time, but I, I can't get off my freaking bike. But I think I'm not actually there. I, I think like it, how your clothes dematerialize when you get off of it, too. Yeah, it's very convenient. I was, I'm was i so used to playing video games. Was just, blah, 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 blah. I was expecting him to grab the sides of the ladder and slide down. But I guess not. Ooh, uh, Ooh it's a rare I one. I may as well try. I always try if I see one. Cool. I think the term is brilliant. Is, a is brilliant. It's a brilliant, a brilliant you mask. I don't even, I don't even have one of these. Well, I think it's gonna kill him. So just to be sure I don't kill him, I'll try one of these. Yeah. And then I'll see how bad he is. Yeah, that's fine. I don't like hex. I do not like it. Hex. What the hex? It's not that bad. I'm gonna do it a few more times and. Make this excruciatingly painful for you to watch. So, I guess the thing I'm wondering is, do you think that this game is over halfway over since you've done five out of the eight gym badges? I think I did four. Oh, four? And I do not think I'm halfway. Okay. Even though, what am I clear to catch up to level 45 now? Uh, that would make sense if I've only done four badges and not five. So, no, I can't be halfway yet. Shoot. I need to grind. That's See, that's why I don't feel so bad about grinding off camera. Because yeah. there's, there's just so many hours in the game. Yeah, it is a shame that we didn't get to show you guys stuff. Three quarters of the gyms that have, we've accomplished. That was that was not our fault. I don't think. No, it's technology. Uh, at least half of them weren't our fault. Limited by the technology of our time. Yeah. <clears throat> I okay. just realized this is playing like a mobile game. I push the button and I watch the game play itself. It is a little bit like that. Yeah, but these turn-based games are kind of that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'd be awesome if real fighting was turn-based. <laughs> if it wasn't just all okay, like... Okay, now you go. <laughs> well, I guess in some senses it is. Like in some, a slap some. contests it is. You yeah, just take a turn. Just funny. Freaking, it's pretty rude for the for the person who gets to go first, you know? <laughs> it's like, I, assume they flip, I assume they flip a coin to see who gets to go first. I know, but you'd think at least... Maybe they it don't? should be. Well, then how do they choose who goes first? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you're right. I just, I just thinking it's still like that's a that seems like a really unfair advantage. You just get concussed they, and then you're expected to, be, to just you, you wail it. They choose it randomly. Is like, oh what the what why? Oh, he's like, fuck this shit. I'm out. That was annoying. I worked, I worked on that for like two minutes, and he just decided, dead. All right. <sighs> That's that's a bad omen. There's another one. It's wow, a, what a what a what a quinky da quinky it's ass. It's a low jolisk or something. Heptiliobtile. <laughs> <laughs> so close. I was thinking. Okay, I know what I was thinking. There's like a yellow spider looking one, and I think it's called a. Uh, oh, I know um, what that is. It's like a um, it's short for tarantula. Like, no, that's like, the big version of it. Dang. I thought that might happen, but I didn't even care at that point. I was so bitter about Joltic. the first one. Yeah, that's it's it. Joltic. That's, that's it. And then the giant one is like Garlantula or something. Yeah, I think Tar you're right. Carantula. Tar Car Car Tarantula. I don't remember. Just keep mumbling noises and eventually, maybe even years later, but eventually you will get it right. Yeah. Unless you die first. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, How do I get off of this rock? Dude, you're trapped. No! Oh, I know. I know what it is. I know what it is. Or I think. Are I... you going the right way? <sighs> it's a trick, okay? I've been here before. It's been a long time. It's on the stream or the video because the, the technology exploded. But there's like two forks in the road, and that's why it looks like that. See all those ladders? Yeah. It's because I have to go way back to the top to go down another set. That's why. So I was trying to go back up, and I ran into one of these guys rooting my day. Jeez. Have you ever been to a desert? Every day. Um, you always no. say every day. Yeah, that's the joke. 
Because if I said it sometimes, it wouldn't be every day. I, <laughs> I guess you're right. <laughs> every day. This one. You have? No, I haven't been to a desert. Have you been to a desert? No. Well, that's pretty lame. What a dumb question. <laughs> yeah. No. What? I, I fantasize about going to a desert, but in comfort. You know, like you have a, a desert vehicle with a ride out of gas and supplies, and you get out a certain way, and then you can hang out in the desert for like a few minutes or something and get a tent. And just like, it's cool. What? I have a safe exit at any point whenever I want. I only want to go to a desert if I can be melodramatic and get lost and then have helicopters come save me. That would be really cool. I know. That would be cool. What made you think of that question? Because here's what I want to happen, all right? All right? I want to be in the desert. I want to be, like, with my friends and family. But <laughs> then we get... Suffer. But then we get robbed at gunpoint. <laughs> in the desert. Uh, with our car. And it's a mugger. And then we're stuck. We're stuck in the desert. And then we find shelter in a in a in a haven, but it's so far away from civilization. And then we draw straws, right? Me and the people that I'm with. And then the people in the haven are like, "We need to send someone out to go get help." And then I get the I, my fantasy is that I get the small straw, and so I have to go out myself into the desert, and I take a little satchel of water with me, and then um and then I have to trek like a lot of miles through the desert and then I wear my hat on my head and my shirt gets taken off. And then over the course of several days where I haven't gotten to eat and I only get to drink very little water. My fantasy is that I trim down to like a, like an aesthetic weight and I get a lot a really good tan and I sweat a lot and I look like really sexy. And then my, my shirt is on my head and not on my torso. So that my, just want to be validated for, for starving yourself and getting a tan. Right, right. <laughs> so I'm all like, I'm like when I when the helicopters finally saved me, there's like a beautiful helicopter pilot and she's she's like single. And then and then she catches me just going like this and my arm is out and then I like fall down and collapse in the desert heat. And then she lands chugga, 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 and she goes, "Oh no, we have to get you help." And she like picks my head up with her dainty little petite hands. And then she feeds me water and my eyes open and then I see an angel. And then I'm like, are you an angel? And then she's like, just drink. She doesn't care about what she looks like in that moment. She just cares about me. Okay. So then, so then I drink and then I really, you're at a good weight and you're you're tan. And then I, and then I faint, right? I faint from the heat, from heat exhaustion. And then actually, but first I, before I faint, I tell them where the people are. Okay. I faint. I but said, then I come out, I come back really quick oh, oh, and I tell them this and then I faint. I said, make, don't worry about me. Save the, uh, the people that are in save the, the Republic, save, save the people the in the, in the Haven, in the water Haven. And then we, she flies me quick to the emergency room and she stays by my bedside for many days while I'm recovering from dehydration. Also, I got bit by three rattlesnakes while I was out there. So I have they have to heal, heal me from the rattlesnake venom. And she and she's like, "Oh no, how is this this man so strong to survive three rattlesnake bites and dehydration?" And then is he like single? <laughs> and then And then I finally wake up. Oh my god. And she's holding more. my hand. Right? Uh, why? Because she cares about me. Does she have like, like, helicopters to fly and shit? Well, she took time off because she was so worried about me. <laughs> so so I wake up and I said, thank you for saving my life. And she said, you know, you called me an angel, right? And then I say, well, I wasn't wrong. And then she smiles, okay? And then she smiles like this. So an imperfect smile. But it's genuine, you know? Right, right. And then, and then I say, sorry, was that corny? And then she says, a little bit. And then, that's, then it's history. Then we get together, and, uh, and I get a Medal no, of you, Honor you, for saving everybody in the Haven. And, uh, and then... The military doesn't even give out stuff to civilians, but they made an exception for me. Yep. Because I was such a, a warrior. And I fought off the rattlesnakes. And then also coyotes, by the way. Oh, fought off coyotes and gosh. wolves. The desert wolves, the, you know? the desert coyotes, classic desert wolves. Yeah, yep. So, so then, um, oh my, God. 
So then it turns out that the people who stole that car from whoever what I was car? with. The car that was stolen that stranded us in the desert. I don't remember the, a car. Well, we were driving through the desert, and then we got robbed at gunpoint of our car, and that's so we found shelter. That's what happened. I remember. I just don't remember the car. I thought I just got mugged. Okay, so here's what happens. The government comes to me, right? They come to my house, and yeah. this is years later, and we're me and Helicopter Girl happy married, happily married. You're, you're, you're like happily married. We are. So so we have we have children on the way. We have twins on the way. She's very big. They're pregnant. on back order. So the government comes to my house, and they knock, 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 and I say, hey, I'm just too busy. But then they're like, we need your help. You're the only people who saw the, the cross-eyed heart cut gang the cross-eyed heart cut gang and then um i said what are you talking about and they said those men that stole your car they're the most wanted men in the world they had just gotten away from a sting operation that the national guard had to take them into custody and unfortunately they got away with your car but nobody knows what they look like except for you and so we need your help on this special mission okay and then, <laughs> and then, so I go and, and it's, I say, no, I can't possibly leave my family. So we go to bed and then my wife, who's very pregnant, turns to me and she goes, you know, you have to do it, right? <laughs> and then I say, I know. So then she kisses me on cheek and then the next morning they fly me out in a different helicopter. Uh, and she says, um... Come back to me, right? That's what she says. She uh, says, come back to me. Okay. And then they fly me to uh, the inner city Mexico. And they say, he's they're here. Those guys. <laughs> Those guys are here. <laughs> and then I'm looking around <laughs> at all these people. And then I see them, right? I'm like, I think that's them. And they're like, all right, your work here is done. But then those guys turn to me. And then they're like, no. And then they like, uh, like everybody there pulls out their guns and they're like, we set a trap for the government this whole time. And then they, um, there's a shootout, right? And uh, they kill everybody except for me. And then they keep me hostage. Um, right. And so I'm hostage with the, with the gang, the cross-eyed something heart gang. Oh, uh, <sighs> Uh, break heart, heart. I think it was break heart. Cut heart. Heartbreak heart cut gang or something like that. Anyway, so then I'm 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 captive and they make a they make a video, a ransom video, and they're like, You give us fifty million dollar or this guy dies. And I'm the like Don't come for me, I'm fine. And my wife sees that video on Fox News and she's like, Ah oh, shit. And then um She's like, Ah oh, shit, I knew I should have been watching Fox News. Right. Or whatever news place. That doesn't really matter. I know. I'm making my own She's joke. not necessarily right wing. She just happened to see it on the news at like uh, Chipotle. I, I know it's not important. Yeah, but everybody was watching the news because they were like, oh, no, Zach. He got kidnapped by the the cut heart. Don't, they know eye he's a, cross don't, they, don't you know he's a hero? He, he, was, he got the Medal of Honor. He got the Medal of Honor. Um, So then so then I'm, they beat me up and they torture me. And then they, they cuff me to, to this... Uh, to the piping in their bathroom, but it's like an old bathroom. And I noticed there's like a little bit of looseness to like this hinge. And so I break it off when people aren't looking, when they're firing gunshots, so they can't hear the noise of me ripping through their wall. And then I like me handcuffed to this bar and like, I like hold the bar around like a big, like a bat. And I just single handedly just go out and beat the shit out of everybody with this bar. I'm just like beating these dudes up. And it's still live. And so everyone sees me doing it and they're shooting bullets at me. And I got shot a few times, but I don't even care. I'm just beating the shit out of everybody with this, this bar that they handcuffed me to. And then finally, uh, I'm like pinned. They're shooting at me and I've got bullet, bullet shots in my shoulder. And I'm pinned behind a, behind a countertop, a granite countertop that I pushed over myself to defend myself. And I'm thinking, oh, it's all over. But then who should come out of nowhere but the sound of a helicopter in the distance and it's my pregnant wife and she's like you guys are going down and she t -t 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 and she shoots everybody and kills them and then she lands her helicopter and then i'm like thanks babe and then we fly away together and she and then i give ba birth to her babies on the copter and then who's flying the helicopter me 
And you're giving... Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. She... I know how to do that, too. <sighs> what do you think? <laughs> I think, despite how horrible that story was, I'm very glad you told it, because it's been agony over here. I can't escape. I can't figure out how to leave this place. And I keep running into Pokemon that I do not want to run into. And it's been horrible. But something less horrible happened, which is your story. And it gave me hope. So thank you. It gave a lot of people hope. That's why they were following that's why they on the news. They gave the Medal of Honor. Yeah. <laughs> they should just call it the Medal of Hope because that's what I give to a lot of people. So. Mm. Yep. That's totally... That's what's going to happen. Look at all these fucking ladders. <gasps> Can you not see? Just dodge everything. I Now this I don't recognize. Damn it. Dead end. You went the wrong area. Well, obviously. Oh, oh, oh. Is oh, that a new oh, one? Oh, yes. Yes. Hey. Oh, there is hope. Now I can get the balls out of here. That's how I felt when I, I saw the helicopter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, that was Isn't awful. that crazy how she saved me twice in the same helicopter? <sighs> Man, what a gal. What a lady. She drove that helicopter with her dainty little hands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she did have them. Call in the details. <laughs> yeah, she had t tiny little dainty hands. Fun, fun fact about the Mexican cross-eyed slash heart gang was that they're also <laughs> Russian. <laughs> yeah, I think I did give him a yeah, he Russian accent. <laughs> They've got this guy's going down stuff. <laughs> they also were accused of killing the president, by the way. So that's why I was a hero for, for getting him. I got him. Oh, man. And then I get a. F okay, so, so here's what happens next. Okay, you ready? Yeah. All right, so after I after that's we fly off, badges. I give birth to her. It's five badges. You were right. I thought it was four. It's five. So we, we decide that I'm just too famous in America, so we go hide overseas, <laughs> okay? And uh, we find a safe place that nobody can find. Ah, it's Betty! Sorry, your story's getting you ruined. No, it's but okay. We we're finally caught up to the story. Holy balls. I said we we're going to do the story. This whole episode's been me being lost. Mm. And I'm really bummed because we had so much content with him that got lost in the ether sows, but those were great. Now we're going to... We must live on forward. Come to God, get me now that I've had my challenge ban taken away and my gym challenger status revoked. Can you really afford to waste time like this? Yeah. Mm, well, I suppose so. You no longer have to worry about catching up with me after all. I'll have you know, though, that I haven't given up. I must become the champion in order to help out the chairman. I will go and ask him to let me rejoin the gym challenge. Oh, shit. She caught up the whole time. Hmm, that boy. Mm, oh. Ooh. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's what I would call pink. Oh, the pink thing comes into play earlier in the ether. So she was comp saying that I don't, I'm not wearing enough pink. So somebody is wearing enough pink. So sincere and straightforward, and yet so twisted and misguided. I like it. That's the kind of thing that gives people some depth. Oh, look! So she's got her spot. Uh, she he gets his sponsor now. It's all coming together. <laughs> ah, the crazy eyes. It's time for my gym mission, child. Ah, baby. <laughs> oh shit! That's horrifying. <laughs> Just I thought if you looked away, but she ran really quick. Wow. Pink. Look at her eyes. Pink. Pink. That's horrifying. Mm -hmm. It's comedic, but horrifying. Nice. Miss Opal, what in the world has gotten into you? You are used by Oleana. Am That's I Opal. right? Oh, shoot. You are used by Oleana. Am I right? You worked hard to get the wishing stars for together with the my rubbish. No. <laughs> Come with me, child. I might be able to help you out. Of course, it all depends on what you do to the moon. Mm. Are you testing me? Fine. I'll plan on making use of my talents to get the wishing star. I decided to do an abridged one on that one. Farewell, bitch. Go to Churchester. Don't recognize it. It's Route 7. All right, cool. Mm. 
<laughs> I was hoping you'd do that. Yeah, well, I even kind of did once every time. It just just one time. Uh, All right, you know what? You know what? That episode was saved by your story because that was awful. Dude, I did I talk the, the whole time? time? Basically, the whole time. I'm so sorry. I was lost. No, no, no. Because I was lost. It would have sucked if you hadn't told us. Okay, I'm gonna tell you this little cliffhanger though that happens at the end of the story, Good. and it goes like this: We finally are hiding in Naples, Italy. My wife and I, with our beautiful twin twins, and then that's a really detailed uh, cliffhanger. It's still going. Twins. And then I get a phone call, and I answer. I say hello, and it's like we know where you live. I think, and then hang up. That's what the cliffhanger is. Okay. 